Hi, I'm Kitty Caracciolo and welcome to part three of my three-part video series showing how I made this open front card. This video shows how I assembled all of the scene pieces to complete the scene. The first thing I'm doing here is I'm showing how uh, my fast and easy trick to color pieces like the fence or the truck um, by using a wet baby wipe and just brushing it over the parts uh, that I'm trying to color. It makes it really fast and easy. I heat dry all of those so when I go to assemble and attach uh, other items to them uh, they will work well. I'm showing you here how I do a little three-part coloring um, on these small leaves so that they look like little fall leaves for the tree. I first add a red, a green, then I go over with orange and I even touch a little bit of the orange on the red just to give it a deeper red color. Yes, this does take a little time but I always think it's worth it. Next thing I do is I pop these up on the mount, uh, molding pad and form them a little with my leaf tool. As you can see here, I'm attaching them to the tree and uh, I'm not putting them on every leaf, uh, uh, I'm sorry, on every branch because I just want it to look like a fall tree that some of the tr leaves have already fallen off. I have put little pieces of mounting tape on the top portion of the fence but uh, am attaching it flat to the bottom of the fence with double stick tape. I wanted the fence um, pickets to pop up a little bit but I am only adding, uh, applying the these grass sections with uh, double stick tape here uh, so that they will remain flat and there's just not too much uh, heaviness on where all of the grass sections and the frame comes together. The next thing I'm doing here is I'm going to show you how I uh, attach this uh, into the scene. I've popped a few of these little tiny pop dots on the back of a few of the major leaves that I think will help hold it in place. They're kind of tiny. I tried to get it up close for you to see. And the rest of the truck is attached with strips of mounting tape. I'm going to tuck the tree in behind that grass section and uh, attach it in place. And I push down on those uh, little pop dots to hold the leaves in place. Next I'm going to start adding the pumpkins and there is no wrong or right. You could add as many pumpkins as you wanted or as few. I just kind of piled them on uh, for my fall card with the truck full of pumpkins. I um, I just I love creating dimensional scenes and this one uh, just screams fall to me. I popped up all of the pumpkins on uh, with mounting tape because I did want them to look uh, not so tight up against the uh, truck and the frames. I am coming here turning over onto the back of the scene and popping my pumpkins in. Just plopped them in wherever I thought they would look good. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, start adding some foliage that I have here um, just to give the uh, scene more life. Those are little uh, curly cues that grow with the pumpkin ivy. I'm putting some larger leaf sections from that uh, in as well. And uh, I put them all around the scene. These are little small grass big sprigs that I like to put in place just to 
add a touch more um, of the spriggy look for uh, an outside scene. Makes them just soften up a little bit. The last thing I'm doing is popping up cats into my scene with mounting tape. I always like to add if I can, if it makes sense, some type of living creature to my scenes. I think it just helps them uh, come to life uh, and look more natural. I could imagine uh, those black cats uh, in the field out where the truck and the pumpkins are. I uh, colored these uh, black and white cats with coping markers. I wanted them to be black and white so that they would show up really well in the scene. This one is hopping in behind the pumpkins. You know how cats are. They just go anywhere they want. The last one is walking across the top of the fence. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this three-part series and um, thank you for coming by and I hope I'll see you in the next video that I do. Thank you.